Pull up the curtains. Turn on the lights. It's gonna have glamour. Shining bright. This is the show. The very best kind. Is everybody feeling fine? There ain't no business like show business, baby. Show time. It is show time. We and gonna we're have gonna some have fun. some fun. We're gonna, gonna have, have a good, good time. time. what it's like for you to walk on the set every day and tell me if you have something that you really enjoy or that really helps you get in your character. As an actor it's important to be able to see the environment you're in if you're in a hospital if you're in a grocery store or whatever and so what the art directors do by creating these environments is like instrumental in making us uh, have good performances and be able to give good performances so yeah. Sure. Well you know I want to talk about the art directors if I can for a second. Um, when we come on set they've been working all night and they've already created these wonderful environments for us to come in and play in and you never get a chance usually to even see them they like work at night and by the time you get there they're gone so a night like this is so important to me because I want to come and celebrate what they do have you ever um, met your art director I have met her but it's it's like in passing it's like paint brushes and, and pails are going by and everybody's hammering and all this great stuff is happening and and um, our show community our art directors are um, our director is nominated tonight so right. that's why I'm here very exciting yes, yes. Well, it's very nice to be able to speak with you this evening. Thank All of your cohorts did very well on Tuesday night at the Visual Effects yeah. Society. So Were you there for that? I was. Oh. I was. And it was a pleasure to be able to speak yeah. with many of your co-workers on the movie. So when you first were invited to work on the script or, or given the script, what were some of your initial thoughts about how you were going to approach the project? Well, the first thing I asked was to read the script again and again and again because it was that complicated. Um, but it seemed to me that because we were changing uh, environments and dream levels so often in the in the story, it was going to be essential to create a very different look for each level of the dream. So, for example, the last level of the dream, as you may know, is a sort of a, a very stark snowscape. Uh, whereas the initial seduction of the person they're trying to uh, uh, create inception with, uh, the initial seduction is created in a sort of a hotel, a very modern hotel, so that the tones and colours are very sort of warm and coffee coloured, so that his, his uh, demeanour is very relaxed in the dream. Right. Um, then of course when there's the, uh, the hijacking and um, the kidnapping, again they want to create a sense of um, of panic and fear in their sort of victim, if you like. So uh, that street scene, it's raining and it's stark and it's concrete and it's urban. So we were able to create a number of different environments, really, and color uh, palettes so that the audience wasn't confused as they were looking at the film. Right. You actually were able to work with so many different types of materials in this film. Would you say that's a little unusual in regards to a project? Uh, so Certainly there were a lot of unusual aspects to this film. I think one of the most challenging is that uh, we had to film in five different countries, three different continents, uh, and only had about 14 weeks preparation before we were going to put uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt in a tumble dryer set and spin him around. So uh, there was a lot to do in the time. So I think time was the challenge, money is always a challenge no matter how big or small the project is. Um, but also the challenge was trying to just visualize how this jigsaw puzzle was going to come together in the end. And, and working so closely, I'm sure you had to work very closely with the visual effects teams. Oh, very much so. Uh, Chris Nolan, who really is the, uh, you know, as you know, the orchestrator of this whole thing, he has a very healthy respect for traditional sets and traditional uh, um, special effects. So there was never any fear of some of the zero gravity scenes, for example. It was always very clear that we were going to divide the work up in the most practical way possible. We all work together very well as a team. Uh, that's you know visual effects, practical effects, and, and real sets in order to really give Chris the most realistic effects that we could in camera. This was very important to him because.
because he was so concerned that if we went too much the CG route, then nobody would believe the environments they were in. Right. You know, the whole film is about people believing they're not dreaming. Right. So it was important to create these effects for real. In regards to um, applying a lot of the techniques from the old, you know, getting the old painting and the old wallpaper, would you want to work with that material again? Oh yeah, it was lovely. You get such brilliant, lustrous finishes. You don't really get with modern materials. So it's, it's really worth it. It's worth the pain. So you'll have to keep those those guys that knew how to I'll do to, all that underhand. I'll have to keep them alive. <laughs> keep them going. They're all so old now. In regards to working with the, the prop master and the, the set decorator, how, what was it like collaborating with all of them to get all of these old pieces incorporated uh, into the set? It's good, yeah. We all work closely together and so I'll do my drawings and talk to Tom and then I'll go through them with the set decorator and the prop master and uh, we'll get what he wants and what I want. So yeah, it works out really well. Do you know if they had any difficulty with, especially some of those pieces are so beautiful and they all work so well together. Together in the set. Some of the technology we had to have trouble with, the BBC stuff, so we had a lot of it made and engineered, especially the microphones. Oh, they look authentic. <laughs> <laughs>